Hey everybody, welcome back to Nurse Hub's question of the day. My name is Laura and I'm the director of content for Nurse Hub and I'm going to be going over today's biology question of the day, which is going to focus on the properties of water. Now this is a question pulled from our HESI A2 question bank, so it's going to use the same format or question stem as you might see on the HESI A2, but this is also a very important concept for you to know when preparing for your T6 as well. So if you are studying for the T6, I encourage you to stick around to review this important concept. And before we go to our question of the day, remember that you can head over to nursehub.com to sign up to become a premium member to gain access to over 7,500 practice questions, just like the one we're going to go over in a minute, as well as access to full length practice tests and lots of other helpful resources to support you while you study for your exams. Let's get started. Today's question of the day is, how many hydrogen bonds can one water molecule form? Is it A, one? B2, C3, or D4? Pause here if you need a few extra moments to think about your answer. All right, let's take a look. If you chose D4, you're correct. Let's look at why. So every water molecule has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Each hydrogen atom can form one other hydrogen bond while the oxygen atom can form two hydrogen bonds. Since each water molecule has one oxygen and two hydrogen, this means that every molecule of water can form four other hydrogen bonds. Let's take a look at some bonded water molecules to look at this a little closer. So in this image, the red spheres are the oxygen atoms and the blue half spheres are the hydrogen atoms. As you can see, each hydrogen atom in the central water molecule is bonded to an oxygen atom using hydrogen bonding. Similarly, the oxygen atom from the central molecule is bonded to two other hydrogen atoms from two other separate water molecules. This goes along with what we were saying. Every oxygen atom can bond to two hydrogen atoms and every hydrogen atom can bond to one other oxygen atom. To learn more about hydrogen bonding and the special properties that it gives to water, you can head over to nursehub.com and check out our biology review section. And that's it for today. Thanks for sticking with me. Remember, if you'd like more practice with questions just like these, head over to nursehub.com to sign up to become a premium member today. We hope to see you over there soon. Happy studying, and we'll see you next time for the question of the day.